go. What's happening, everybody? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? We having a repeat of yesterday. Cause yes, look, let me tell you something. Yesterday was, bro. <laughs> yesterday y'all was on one, and I'm and I'm here for it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm here for it. But I just want to hop back on again. I want to hop back on again. There we go. What's happening? Where everybody from on today? Where everybody from? Where is everybody from? Yesterday we had a lot of Texas in the house. What's going on, Grand Slam? We had a lot of Texas in the house yesterday. We had a lot of Mississippi in the house. We had a lot of Florida. I believe we had like one or two people from New York, which was quite random. Who we got in the house today? Where y'all from? If all the new people that's up in here for the first time, y'all don't even know who I am. I go by the name of Coach Brian. I am. Oh, we got some New Jersey people up here. All right. That's what I'm talking about. What's FLA? What is FLA? What is that? Michigan in the building. Okay. California in the building. El Carito. I think I, think I said that right. Virginia Beach. All right. Okay. We got a different crowd today. All right, let's see what y'all on. Y'all different. But for all the people that don't know me, my name is Coach Brian. Trinidad in the building. All right. Uh, My name is Coach Brian. Holistic wellness and uh, weight loss coach specialist. And I'm basically come on live just to talk. You know, I come on live to talk to people, answer any type of question that y'all may have while I'm doing. I would turn my camera, but it's a lot. And there's personal information on here with my, some of my clients. But while I'm answering emails and redoing protocols and stuff like that. So I take it as one of my times to like really just talk with y'all, you know. Oh, we got Chicago in the building too? That's what I'm talking about. But where we left off last, Beaumont. Oh, y'all like right by me. Oklahoma. Okay, we got a good plethora of people up here from different areas. That's what I'm talking about. Um, when we left off yesterday, I believe our last topic after the other guests had got off, I went live for the first time with somebody yesterday because I don't, I don't be doing that on here a lot. But um, we last talked about like you know biodegradables. We talked about detoxification. One person was talking about like diabetes and high blood pressure and things of that nature. So anything y'all want to talk about, let me know. Any questions y'all got, y'all can put them in here, and we can get to chopping it up while I do all of this. And let me know if that uh that little noise is still in. Cause I know yesterday y'all was saying like that little static noise was um going through the live or whatever. But once again, I just need a new phone. This phone is trash. My iPhone still got the when the first uh when the one little camera lens was on the back. Y'all out here with them supercomputers. I got like three, four different camera uh camera lenses and stuff like that. I only got one. I'm frugal Fred. That's one thing my mama will always tell about me. I will save a dollar. And I will, I will ride a phone to the ground. But I'm at the point now to where I need another phone, y'all. My phone dialed bad. I got a big crack coming across the middle right here. It's not too bad, but it's noticeable. And, like, bro, it's... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. I could have swore I answered this email already. But, yeah, any questions y'all got? Anything y'all want to talk about, put that up in here. I'm about to reply to this lady real quick, and then we could get it going. I see some questions coming in already. I'm about to answer them. But in the meantime, all the new people that's down, I'm seeing come up in here. Yeah, where y'all from? I like to know where everybody from, so I can kind of dictate and kind of judge y'all a little bit. Cause some of y'all, y'all be look, <laughs> y'all be y'all be on some other stuff. <laughs> it's something about it's something about Texas people, bro. Every time y'all come up in here. Y'all be on y'all be on one. I ain't even gonna lie. Between y'all and Florida, them questions be left field. What's up, Shar? How you doing? Somebody said my bad, I missed it. Y'all came in. Let me ask this question. Somebody said Am I looking at it right? Hypothyroidism? Or am I scrolling too fast? Yeah, hypothyroidism. So hypothyroidism is a disorder of the parathyroid gland. So when you have like excessive secretions of the para uh the uh the parathyroid what am I trying to say? The hormone itself. Anytime you have excessive, because you got to think about, I think about hyper as overactive or doing too much, hypo as underactive or not doing enough, you know, so you have something as a hyper, which is above or too much, hypo, which is beneath, and hyperpara, well, I call it hyperpara, well, what we call it is hyperparathyroidism, and this leads to high levels of, like, calcium in the blood and, like, a leaching of calcium to the bones, you know, so that's the problem, so people that have hyperparathyroidism, you have a lot of, third, like, they all, all, I'm talking about most of the times they they're never satiated well hydrated enough. They always thirsty and um they always use the bathroom a lot. I'm talking about like crazy high volumes of urination. Uh they never really hungry. They let they, they lack, lack of appetite and then they always like physically weak. Oh, this is the big one right here. 
two actually two of my clients have um in my wellness program they have hyperparathyroidism and they are constantly constipated like the protocols i had to make for them required so much fruit juice and so much on and off of aloe vera and cascara sagrada just to get them regular again and then you have some other ones that's not that that suffer with nausea and then a lot of them have um high blood pressure too so i oftentimes tell people like Anytime you have hyperparathyroidism, what I've noticed, I'm just going to say this in my clients, I'm not going to generalize everybody, but in my clients, I've noticed that like they have pancreatitis or they have like peptic ulcers and stuff like that. And or they might have a tumor on one of the glands or swelling on all four, you know, because you have, I'm not even going to get into all of that. But um, the least common one or the one that I don't really deal with unless like it's somebody older who has hyperparathyroidism, like they have like bone fragility, you know, so like they, they either have like they start developing uh, deform uh, deformities or like they'll have fractures in their bones, like they're really easy to fracture. But I oftentimes tell those people, um, you know, like go to cola, uh, red clover. Um, goat's root, bladder whack, that's some good I'm talking about immensely good herbs for y'all. If you want to make tea, you can do um let's see, you can do a tablespoon a, a tea my bad, a teaspoon of um Yeah, I'm gonna use the same herbs. So like a teaspoon of goat cola, red clover, goat's root, and bladder whack, and like you steep it. Now if y'all know me, we talked about this yesterday. The longer you let something steep, the darker it should get, which means the more the more um potent the tea is going to be and the herbs are going to be for your system. So if you're a tea person, I would say make it like that. But the same thing as well as like if you want to use powders in the capsules or you want to use tinctures. Me personally, tea and tinctures work best for me and my clients. But if y'all want it in a pill form, get those same exact herbs and y'all would be good. Y'all typically would be good. But I noticed too, a lot of people with a, lipo, with a lot of hyperparathyroidism, they don't really eat the best. You know, it's like a lot of them, they're, like I said before, they're, they're oftentimes dehydrated and they're drinking a lot of water, which isn't essentially a bad thing. But how about you satiate or hydrate yourself on a cellular level? So I'll start introducing them to more fruit juices. And then that just varies depending on their blood type. But like fruit juices and things of that nature, you know, like especially like my ABs, a lot of grapefruit juice, a lot of grapefruit juice. Not only does it help with the digestive issues and they're not as constipated and they actually get to use the use the bathroom how they need to, but they also get to not satiate. I keep wanting to use the word satiate. They keep their they're hydrating your, their cells on a cellular level and getting optimal optimal levels of detoxification. Remember what we talked about yesterday on the live as far as like how I me mean, per, me personally, I view fruits as deep tissue detoxifiers and vegetables. They detoxify, but they do more building than detoxification. But that would be, you know, if anybody that's suffering with that, that oh we got New Orleans in the building, that would be my um that would be one of my methods that I would use to help if you're somebody that's suffering with that. And somebody said the way to the best way to remove toxins from your body. I'm going to keep this one simple because it's a lot of ways you can do it. But sweating. A lot of people sleep on sweating. Like I have a sauna box in there. Granted, it's, I have other stuff in there too. But I, I pull my sauna box in and out. And they, they're like, I think like $100 on um Amazon right now, I want to say. Go get you a sauna box. At least 30 minutes. At least 30 minutes a day. Sweats. Go walking. You know, more fruit juice. <clears throat> stay, more, stay hydrated. Do what you got to do. Because... Oftentimes when people look for these quick detoxes or they look for these quick fixes and stuff like that, not to say that they don't have any that don't work, but what I am saying is adapt certain things in your lifestyle that's going to help you throughout the long run or that's going to really benefit you in something that's quite easy to add to your lifestyle and your have your daily habits. You start doing that, that's going that's going to set you up for success every single time. We talked about yesterday if you guys missed the live about how it's better to start the habits now and be healthy and be able to be mobile later on down the road whenever we can't work anymore, we're older, you know, as opposed to like waiting to the last minute. Most people wait till a crisis or they wait till a problem to actually heal and deal with themselves as opposed to well, let me just start the good habits now. And I'm not saying be perfect. I don't want nobody to think, oh, I got to be perfect. I have to, you know, I have to always be on this and be on that. No, but start adding certain habits to yourself now to where it don't even, it don't even feel like a job. Like I've been doing it. I've been doing it so long to where it doesn't feel like a job or a task to me to go work out, to go walk, to go run, to take my herbs, you know, to make my teas, to stretch, to do whatever. It's just a part of your day to day routine. You know, certain foods not even going to taste the same to you after a while, you know, but when you're balanced, things move a lot better. But I would say you start doing that. Give me one. I'm about to answer the next question. Y'all give me one second. I am, like I said, I'm in between, uh, I'm in between answering emails and stuff like that. But I have to, I have to come on here and talk to y'all because y'all be, y'all be fun. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all, y'all some, y'all fun. Every time I come on here, it's, it's either we talk about a lot of good health stuff or y'all just y'all just wilding and we're gonna see what we're gonna get today so far we starting off with the with the medical stuff we starting off with the with the health stuff but we're gonna see we're gonna see where it go <laughs> 
Somebody put, how do you reverse high blood pressure and diabetes? So we talked about diabetes yesterday. I'll talk about it again today, but let's talk about uh, high blood pressure. And for all the people that think about high blood pressure as hypertension, we all want in the same. Same thing like we talked about with hyperparathyroidism, hyper and hypo. But with hypertension, um, I'm going to just call it hypertension because that's how I'm used to saying it, or better known as high blood pressure. Um, did y'all know, like, the World Health Organization, they actually, um, they were saying, like, I think it was, like, 160 over 90 and over is, like, that was the ones that really, like, that's what we're going to define high blood pressure as. And I ain't going to lie, that, that is pretty high. But I've been, I don't I don't know if I'm going to release these numbers yet because I don't want nobody to, I ain't going to release the numbers yet. But I'm, I'm going I'm to say it later, but I, I got an interesting theory about that. But, um, cause to me, like the average blood pressure is 120 to 80 for men, but it's lower in women. Right. So the diastolic or the lower figure represents like the pressure as people uh, know, and which is the arteral wall, the arteral walls are subject to, and it's more important. And that's the more important figure. So like if your bottom number sucks, then that means that you have a lot of blockage. You know, you have a lot of, um, thickness. You have a lot of, um, What's another thing? A lot of kidney, like a lot of kidney, not failure, but like your kidney. Because basically the tension is honestly predicated upon not only blood pressure and like, you know, the quality of your blood, but your kidneys and how well they're filtrating. Because all of that goes hand in hand. So like like I said before, like a lot of causes, you know, you see people a lot of, if you ever look up, um, it's called wet cupping. People that have a lot of blood pressure issues, they do that a lot. And you'll see like they blood be thick, thick, thick. They have kidney disorders or they have loss of elasticity in like the arteries. And they, they start, everything starts hardening. Everything starts calcifying and stuff like that. You know, and a lot of those people, they have like, prime example, uh, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say who exactly, but cause I, I know they're in here, but one of my clients, you know, is like, she would always say, oh, I'm waking up with these headaches, especially in the back of my head. You know, it's like I be having palpita- uh, palpitations sometimes, you know, my I get dizzy and then like my vision, my vision be blurry sometimes, you know, and like they'll have like these pains, these random pains out of nowhere and they just can't concentrate. All, every single one of my high blood high blood pressure clients cannot concentrate and they be quick to say, oh, I have ADHD. They've diagnosed me, blah, 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 blah. But then whenever we start diving into how their kidneys work and then the, the quality of their blood, I was like, no, baby, you just got high blood pressure, you know, so. Now you start getting into, um, not, I'm not going to say ways to thin the blood. Cause I don't want y'all to think about it like that. Even though that is essential. I want y'all to think more so of quality of the blood, because when the quality of the blood gets better, whenever we focus on herbs that purify the blood, that somewhat thins the blood, you know, that helps with cognitive function and helps with vitality. Then we start getting into the areas of the good types of blood pressure, you know? So a lot of, um, Let's see. I don't want to give y'all nothing too strong because I'm trying to keep y'all not y'all. Don't, I don't have y'all everybody in here specific things. So I'm trying to keep it very um general, I should say. So like stuff like uh garlic, um buckwheat's really good. Um motherwort, um any type of nettles because they're all astringent, honestly. And uh lime flowers and and well, I'm not gonna say dandelion root. I'm gonna say lime flowers. Y'all should use that. You can you can do same thing. Tinctures, capsules, teas, all that type of stuff. All that stuff works. But also the most important part is what I need people to understand is the diet. It's all about the diet. Avoid the process and the fast. Fa- excuse me, the fast foods because they're all high in fats and they're all high in salts and they're empty calories. And people are like, oh, well, empty calories are good or blah, blah, blah. No, like if you're not cooking it yourself and if you have no control over, if you don't know exactly what's in there, how can you say it's healthy? How can you say, oh, isn't that, that's not the cause of blah, 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 blah. Now, then you have your zinc levels all over the place. Your vitamin C levels all over the place. Your vitamin B6 is trash. Your vitamin E levels are trash because you have the low vitamin E levels mean that your circulation is trash. You know, so I just really, ho- I really hope and pray that y'all avoid all that type of stuff, you know, and then, and then. Pull away from the cheese and meat. Eat it if you can't completely get away from it for the time being. Until you get yourself together, eat it, eat it sparingly. And once you eat it sparingly, you'll see the difference. And what I'm going to replace that with: fruits and vegetables. You know, uh, I'm not going to say grains and stuff like that because everybody's body is different. But I'm just going to say plenty of natural whole foods. Natural, and you can find you can find them everywhere. You know, and especially coffee especially coffee like go there's a brand called daily blends like daily like the days and blend like you're blending something they're dandelion root based I, most of my coffee drinkers that's my clients i put them onto that they don't even drink coffee no more blood pressure is fine all the other stuff is fine they're like just please get on that please get on that because i'm i'm letting y'all know right now it's not it's no fun whenever you've waited too long Cause it goes a lot deeper than just like, oh, well, my arteries and this, that, and third have stiffened and calcified. Like stuff starts shutting down immensely. 
immensely. So I, I really hope and pray that y'all hear what I'm saying and y'all just doing what y'all have to do because it's, it's bro, it's tough. It's really tough. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Di yeah, you said to talk about diabetes, too. But when it comes down to diabetes, um, a lot of ger German chamomile. German chamomile is really good. Dandelion root is really good. Um, ginseng is really good. And uh, Inconatia. But more so what I've been using a lot lately, a lot more lately, is bilberry. Bilberry is really, really good. But a lot of... Uh, see, and I'm about to get some flack for this, but I'm gonna say, I said yesterday, I'm going to say it again today. There's a difference between monosaccharides and poly and disaccharides. If you are diabetic, pre-diabetic, whatever, you need to be drinking cold-pressed fruit juice because your pancreas is saying it's not you having diabetes is not a sign of like oh I have too much sugar in my in my in my body because you need you need sugar fuel with oxygen to actually process and move the body around. What's the problem is it can't process them super complex sugars and which requires what cortisol. And the more cortisol you have in your body, the stress is high, the adrenal glands are fatigued, the kidneys are fatigued. So what you need to focus on is the organic things. And like I said before, kind of the same thing with the high blood pressure. Pull away from the meats, pull away from the cheese, pull away from all of that. You're going to see a difference. And um, let's see, a B complex would be, if you want to worry about, I guess, like supplemental things like B complexes, um, vitamin E, um, chromium. Chromium is another good one, too. And I feel like that would be really, really, really good for you. But, you know. All of oregano for parasites. Ah, that works. But, I mean, you, I say I say more pumpkin seeds. Like, if you can find some fresh pumpkin seeds, unsalted, uncooked, do that. Kiss what? Kiss, kiss what? Cascara Grande? Are you talking about Cascara, uh, Cascara Sagrada? I don't know what you're talking about. Kiss, kiss, care. Is Casa Grande? I don't know what that is. You're about to make me lie, lie on Instagram. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that. How can I have a private session with you? So you can do one of two things. You go on the link in my bio. I have um, my wellness checkups and appointments that I can do. Or you can just join my wellness uh, slash weight loss program. It's a 12-week program. And I just basically put you through a holistic boot camp. And I hold you accountable. I give you exact protocols based off of your body type. So I'll go off of your height, eight, age, weight, uh, weight, activity uh, level, how many days you work out, your allergies, your blood type, all that type of stuff. It's all based and catered strictly to you. But I just go click the link in my bio. I got you. Have you heard of Kachava smoothies asking before I buy? I think today was my first time actually seeing it in Rouse's in our local grocery store. Um... I, I don't do researches on kombucha and stuff like that because I'm just not a fan. You know, I don't feel like I need it. I don't really advise my clients to get it. But if that's what you want to do, I would say always do extensive research on it and see if it aligns with what you have. Always like the front is for entertainment. The back is for education. Read thoroughly what what they put in there, how they process it. Everything is Googleable. So go on Google, type it in, how they source, how they blah, 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 blah. It may sound extensive, but think about it. You're about to put it inside your body. You know, so I would say do that, but I don't have enough information on it to even give you a yes or a no. I'm not about to sit here and lie to you. Uh, I can't hear what you're saying. Can anybody else not hear me? Do I need to do I need to switch something up? Please let me know. I don't sweat. So I do visit the sun at my local YMC as you should, as you should. But going to go on a fast, though, go on a fast. If you not, if you having problems sweating and stuff like that. Like go on a fast and like really just let your body reset and then try again before you have to take any other drastic me measures. A sauna box, okay, yeah, a sauna box is where is that? Thank you, you're welcome. Love this information. That's why I come on the live, y'all. Like I said, I'm answering emails and I'm doing work and talking at the same time. But I, I feel like I'm very busy, but I like to at least somewhat try to connect with y'all. And then once again, excuse me if I'm like if I'm not looking directly at the camera. I'm just, you know, I'm a multitasker, so I like to get stuff done at a certain time. Oh, what's up, Dre? I just realized Dre up in here. What's happening? People always say that I'm not getting enough protein because I don't eat meat. That's not exactly true. So, prime example, y'all can go look up Teray Washington. He's a, a vegan bodybuilder. Y'all can go look up Raw Morabi. He's not a bodybuilder, but he is a rather large guy who works out, and he's completely plant-based. And I'll say this. It's a lot harder. Now, and it does depend on your blood type. I will say that. It does depend on your blood type and your, your genetic makeup. But I will say most people that try to get caloric surpluses maintenances and or amounts of amino acids and proteins within their body on a plant-based diet with all the supplementation and foods and stuff that we have these days you can do it the builders are the leafy greens the detoxifiers are the fruits you know so if you need to start eating more nuts more more uh and, and that's another thing too things with starches in it is like 
I'm not going to say carbs are more important than, than protein. I, I'm not going to say that. But what I am saying is you can definitely get more than enough of what you need on a plant-based diet, but you just have to make sure. Now, it, it may require you eating a lot of the same thing sometimes because I know where I'm at. I'm very limited on that type of stuff. But at the same time, it's like it's feasible. You just have to open your horizon as far as like what you really – um. God, doggy computer, stop doing that. What you really – um should be consuming my bad y'all this lady is typing faster than i can read but yeah i I don't i don't feel like i don't feel like that's that's hard to do i remember whenever i think it's still on my page actually i posted this the other day um when i posted when i was on live i showed it to y'all the other day i had quit me for a while and i had actually gained because i was not granted i was working out with it too but i had gained like i think i gained like 10 15 if not 20 pounds on the throughout the process and i I had leaned out like I leaned out immensely, but like you got different types of um plant based diets like but i don't I don't feel like especially in this day and age, I just don't feel like you know being a vegan is hard to do you know it's it's to me it's more so like it's super strict in my opinion if you want to get everything that you want from it, think about it as like a strict vegetarian diet you really omit you're you're omitting meats, fish, eggs, and milk, and stuff like that, but you still can get what you need from it, you know. Now, granted, you know, they run across, well, people run across the whole, you know, the B12 um, uh, deficiency and stuff like that. And we have supplements for that. You know, you have digestives for that. So, but I would say, like, um, you can combine, like, beans and other cereals and seeds or nuts, you know, in your meals and stuff like that to where you can definitely equal up to an animal or a meat-based diet because that's really what you'll see in a lot of vegan and a lot of plant-based diets it is, it's a whole bunch of that but like i like again like i said it might be a lot of the same thing but it's possible there's a lady called um oh what's her name she had a it was called an alkaline cookbook i had bought it months ago and it's it's really 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 good i'm, I'm gonna try to figure out her name before the live need a great multivitamin I don't really do multivitamins a lot. I do more herbs. But um, the last multivitamin I was, quote unquote, on, I guess you can say I tried out, was the Adam's tablet. It's like a, um, it's a men's vitamin. But I don't, I'm not even, I'm not about to sit here and lie. I don't do a lot of, um, I lie. You know what? But I'm not lying about that. Like, I don't do a lot of vitamins. But I'm thinking of not, a brain just popped up in my head. Vimergy. Y'all can go look at Vimergy. They're, out of all the supplements I've seen online so far i could like i said I'm, I'm i haven't seen them all so i'm not trying to discredit any other brands but vimergy vimergy has a really 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 good line they're a little pricey but when you look at how they're sourced and how they're processed and how they're made their stuff is really good so check them out vitamin e helps circulation question mark yes it does immensely a daily what now um a, a daily multivitamin they said can you give the name of the coffee brand again, please? It's called Daily Blends, like every day, Daily Blends, like you're blending something. Just type in Daily Blends, and you'll see it. it's a uh, dandelion root based. You'll see it. Really, really good coffee. Uh, cause let me tell y'all something quick about coffee. Coffee doesn't actually give you energy. What happens is I forgot the actual chemical that binds to your neurons in your blood. It just blocks it. So it blocks you. It blocks your brain from shooting a signal saying that like, hey, we're fatigued, we're tired. So you get that rush and you get it. I can move, 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 move. But when the coffee gets out of your system while it does its job, that's why that's where you get the crash from. Because like then all of that, those chemicals and all those signals that was blocked off, they shoot to the to the body, and now the body's like, man, we've been this tired this whole time. Crash, go to sleep. You can't be up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then that's hard on your cortisol levels. It's hard on your adrenal glands. It's hard on your kidneys. It's hard on your pancreas. It's hard on your liver. That's why I say daily blends. Or just get y'all like a, a B complex um tincture or something like that. Go check out Vimergy. You know, I'm not sponsored by them. This is not me trying to you know go buy my ball. I'm not doing it. But what I'm saying is, I'm just telling y'all what I know works. Try that. And fruit juice too. Fruit juice is man, it's immaculate. How does cold fresh fruit juice help i love cold pressed juice well that's what i'm talking about cold press so when you whenever you're talking about well i don't know exactly what you're asking me but i will say this the benefits that i know of cold pressed fruit juice like i said before if you want real not only cellular restoration and hydration but if you want real deep tissue detoxification fruit juice is where it's at especially grapes they're highly astringent doc we talked about this yesterday on my live dr Rob, robert moore took i think it was like 49 days 45 49 days i want to say he had a cancer patient had him on an all grape diet, 
all grape. I know I, I know it sounds crazy, but an all grape diet, that man ain't even got cancer no more. Like the stringency of fruits in general, but especially super uh, stringent fruits, will literally heal you from the inside out. So imagine what the juices will do. I am list to you. You are so true. Thank you so much. I get it all from my books. I always forget a pen and paper. <laughs> yeah, bring it, man. Bring it. Bring the stuff. Uh, let's see. Thank you. You're welcome. You good on? So okay, y'all can't hear me. Okay, good, good. Cause one lady was like, I can't hear y'all. I was like, what? I know my phone busted, but like I got the headphones in. Have you heard of people putting bacon, bacon soda, and pink Himalayan salt in their water? I've heard of pink Himalayan salt, but I know bacon soda. Bacon soda. I got. I had to say it. Um. Pink Himalayan salt and baking soda? That sounds like a science experiment. I don't know enough about that, but that doesn't sound like it would mix right inside the body. I've heard of people putting like pinches of salt in their water before workouts or before a long run to where they can get the electrolytes and all that type of stuff. That makes sense. But baking soda and that, I've never heard of that. I don't I don't feel like that would that would be beneficial. That's my opinion though. If you find other sources, please send it to me. I'll actually go look it up myself. But not that you because I've never heard of that before. But if you have other sources, please send it to me. But I don't think that's a good combination trying to get this health knowledge i feel you fam i'm trying to go i'm trying to go on live more often because you know between me talking to people and dealing with these clients and stuff like that i just be trying to find time to talk to y'all before it's my bedtime are almonds good for you almonds is that's subjective it's good for different people like you have a it's so many mixed reviews on nuts right now nuts and seeds some people were saying it wasn't this some people saying it was this but if you look at y'all go look up blue zones if y'all look up the blue zones the people that literally live the, the longest like 120 130 and not like not like like old and and like just uh, i'm talking about like they moving they biking they you know what i'm saying like they grow their own stuff they have you'll see them with nuts and seeds and stuff like that so me personally i'm on the fence about it but according to my blood type and my body and what i've experimented with you know peanuts do me really well most nuts do well for me you know but like that may not be the case for y'all blood type but i would say you know to each his own but i wouldn't run from it i would say see what's what what about Mediterranean diets? Mediterranean diets are not bad, but don't, I say this, if you're going to eat that much fish and that much, I believe Mediterranean has goat and other stuff in it too. You have to always couple that with leafy green vegetables every single time. Cause you have to give that liver something to work with. That's like I said, that's not a problem. It's not, it's actually most people that get on Mediterranean diets are, uh, um, what's the other pescatarian diets, which is they're kind of similar. They, I noticed that they don't eat a lot of leafy greens. They say, oh, broccoli, this, that, and the third, which is not bad. Broccoli is good for you. Excuse me. But the leafy green vegetables is where it's at. That's really where it's at. Mary Ruth has a good liquid. I've heard of Mary Ruth before. I saw her, um, what kind of, I ain't gonna say turn me off, but what kind of made me iffy about her. She had like this, um, once again, I'm not bashing the brand. I'm not bashing the brand. Y'all, if y'all love it, y'all rock with it, it works with y'all, do y'all think. But I saw some of the stuff she had as far as like the, the melatonin something. I forgot what it was. It was like some kind of sleepy stuff or stomach stuff. And I was looking inside of the ingredients. I was like, I don't really rock with that. But I never tried it. I'm the type of person where I'm going to read and see what's in it. And if it just don't sit right with my spirit, I'm just not. And if it don't mail right with me, I'm just not going to use it. But if it works for you, I'm going to cool more power to you. Andre, why you made that face? What does that even mean? <laughs> Sounds like it burned. Wait, what I miss? Oh, the big, yeah, the, okay, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, the baking soda, yeah, it's, it do. It do sound like it would burn. It's just, I don't know. Baking soda helps correct the pH, which is very good for many things. Okay, I can see that. But you're mixing it with Himalayan salt, which is electrifiers. So if you're mixing a base with an electrifier, how, doesn't, that, doesn't that nullify it or neutralize it? But I know they digest separately. They don't digest at the same time. So I'm assuming what's happening is when the baking soda mixes with the Himalayan salt as it goes inside the bloodstream, the way the kidneys and the adrenal glands have to process that before it even gets to the bladder is when it diffuses. I'm guessing the baking soda hits first and then the the Himalayan salt re-electrifies, I want to say. But what? I don't know. I, it's, it is, but it ain't making sense to me. I got to do some more research on it. I saw it on TikTok and the baking soda, and I was so confused. Yeah, I gotta do. So, I gotta do some more research on that. How much is your twelve week program? Right now, we got a uh, holiday sale going on right now. I don't typically talk prices on the live, but right now we got a holiday sale going on right now. It's just three hundred dollars a month, you know. So you have the twelve week program. If you locked in, if you lock in a contract right now, well, I'm, I'm not gonna say a contract. That sounds so intimidating to most people. I'm just, a, I just think in business. But if you lock in a subscription service right now, you know your twelve weeks to be three hundred dollars a month. All we break them up into bi weekly payments. 
Because before we had it was like five hundred dollars. Uh, let's see. I am AB negative blood type looking for good diet. Hey, I'm AB positive. That's what's up. Um, well then, okay, I could. Well then, you probably can understand where I'm coming from. So as ABs, we have the low. First of all, we're the newest and rarest blood, but we have the lowest forms of uh, hydrochloric acid inside of our stomach. Like we, I envy people that are O's because y'all have basically battery acid in y'all stomachs bro like y'all can eat license plates and y'all be good like it blows my mind but y'all y'all have the original blood y'all have the strongest type of blood for the stomach uh but i would say that with ab's our immune system and lymphatic system are optimal we rarely get sick and i'm here for that so you already know what i'm talking about but one thing i've learned being an ab you may be a little bit different from me but I know for sure grapefruit juice in the morning helps my stomach out for the rest of the day. If I have me at least a good, by like a pint of it, I'm good. Um, A lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. I don't really eat like a lot of heavy meats like chicken. The granted chicken ain't good anyway, but like for anybody. But like I don't really eat chicken like talking about. Like if I was to eat meat, it would probably be like turkey or it'd be like lamb or mutton, stuff like that. Or like a rabbit. I don't eat a lot of heavy, hard red meat because like, dude, it's... It just puts me in the headlock, like especially cheese too. Like I, ain't, yeah, yeah, sparingly, but I, w- I feel like if you just, cause I'm AB, so I feel like if you were to be looking for a good diet, I would say do 80, 20, 80 percent fruits and vegetables, twenty percent meat. Or if you just don't want to do that, do fruits and vegetables. You'll be good, but mostly fruits. I find that's what works for me and my clients. That's also AB. For B type blood, any tips or weight loss? Stay away from chicken. It's something about y'all blood type and chicken that does not... Granted, chicken is not good for nobody. But it's something about the B-type blood and chicken. It does not do well with y'all blood at all. It, it it works as a poison, honestly. Like a very slow poison. Stay away from that. A lot of leafy greens. Y'all too. Y'all good with the fruits. A lot of fruits. A lot, a lot, a lot of fruits. Especially fruit juice. But yeah, when it comes down to, to bees... Because like A-Bs, we get, we get the best of both worlds. I ain't gonna lie. Cause we get, cause my I believe my dad's O and my mom's B, so it's like I got both. So, but the only thing is I got um, I didn't get I didn't get his stomach, bro. My dad could eat anything, bro. I didn't get me, but I get my stomach from my mama though, because we one in the same. Soon as we eat something, we go straight to the toilet. Like I, it go in and do his job, and it gots to go, especially if we hydrated. But y'all O's, y'all could eat. Y'all can eat a y'all can eat a tea mug, a coffee mug, and I promise you, you'll be good. Y'all go use the bathroom. Okay, what we eat next? Oh my God, y'all can eat whatever y'all want to eat. Healthy or unhealthy, y'all just different. Y'all got shark stomachs. Hello. So eating according to your blood type is beneficial. It's very beneficial, and I'm one of those people that was a, that was on the fence about all of that for the longest time, and I tried it out. You know, I studied more on it. I got books on it. You know, I started looking more into like coagulation and how the blood works with certain chemicals and stuff like that. And it's 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 very specific yet very general. It's like you can, I don't even know how to put it. It I me personally, I say yes, it works. Even on my clients, like I ask my clients if they want to take that route too, and they be like, oh yeah, let's do it. And then like they shake back like nothing. And then I've noticed in all my other clients, like the things that they, because I can see what they're eating. It's so like the times that they do eat something that's on, like, like let's say their avoid list. I, I call it the avoid list. Like, they, they either bloat bad. Like, prime example, my O's. If you, if you have O-type blood, apple juice is not good for you. You bloat, you get sick, you get nauseous. It depends on, on your body, but most O's, they bloat really, 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 really bad. They get nauseous really. And they, like, they have to make themselves stomach it. Most O's that I know and that I train, if they're eating correctly. So, I'll say that. I'm a positive, a positive y'all, y'all, y'all not as, y'all not as bad. I feel like AB's got it the worst, but I don't, I don't feel like AB's, not AB's, I don't feel like A's are too, too bad. If anything, I'm more concerned about y'all, um, I'm more concerned about y'all, uh, y'all lymphatic systems because when it comes down to, uh, to A's, y'all, I hate to say y'all bougie, but y'all, y'all lymphatic system is bougie, bro. Cause like with ABs, we have a really good lymphatic system. We rarely get sick. And then when you have um, when you have uh, O's, O's don't really get sick as much, but they have to be active. If you are O type and you're not active, you're doing yourself a disservice because y'all blood was made off of like um, made off of like like hunting and you know not even really gathering. That's more so the ABs, but like hunting and being strong and being vigilant. Like that's that's y'all thing. But when it comes down to age, y'all real picky. You know, it's like from fruits, vegetables, nuts, uh, flowers, everything is like y'all just 
y'all bougie. You know, and not not really in a too bad way, but like prime example, y'all y'all are tear up some vegetables. Like y'all, you're like A's, y'all, y'all love y'all some vegetables. When it come down to like beans, come down to like more of the fruits and stuff like that, y'all have more neutrals than positives in y'all stuff. So y'all body's like, well, we eat fruits, but it gotta be apricots, it gotta be cherries, it gotta be figs, it gotta be lemons, it can't be no lime, it gotta be a lemon. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all have that type of blood type. So I would say if you are A and you're really trying to benefit yourself, um, what's what's something what's something that's really really good for y'all i would say a lot of um switch to barley switch to like a lot of barley a lot of alfalfa a lot of um ginseng a lot of uh, ginger a lot of hawthorn a lot of uh milk thistle that's really good for y'all you know and especially like when i was talking about the coffees and stuff like that y'all should not be playing with coffee that it just it's like they'd be saying like oh we can do decaffeinated coffee and blah 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 no no Especially like sodas and seltzer waters and stuff like that, be tan y'all up. The still spirits be tan y'all up. But y'all be the main ones. Oh, you know, I want this, my blood system. Like, I'm telling y'all, A is a bougie. Where can you find info about eating for your blood type? A, B, negative here. You must have just got in here. We just talked about A, B. There's a book called Eating Right for Your Blood Type. I think it's like $12, $15, maybe $9 on Amazon right now. So being A, B, negative, red meat, not that great for you. I'm I'm AB positive, but AB's in general, like that. No, like red meat, hard meats is not good. Like it's not, especially for a long period of time. You because your our bodies don't metabolize it well. So like we'll start gaining a lot of fat. We'll start gaining a lot of, especially fat. Start gaining a lot of weight. Our metabolism slows down. We get sick. You know, it's like then it's hard to process, especially if you mix it with a lot of cheese and a lot of gluten. It's not good. I did it a long time ago, but I listened to people. I'm going back to yeah, hop back on it. Why isn't chicken not good for you, but turkey is? That's just how my blood set up. That's just how how AB's blood set up. Now, granted, chicken in general, especially with how they're raising chickens now, I don't feel like it's good for anybody. I don't feel like chicken is really like we we should start pulling back from chicken. But I guess it's because of um when it because for all I know, the chicken and how its body and how like the meat digests inside and and conjunction to our blood it just doesn't sit well but i guess turkey's leaner you know turkey is built a little bit different it's not it's not it doesn't have the same constituents as that they don't eat the same they don't move the same they're not they're not made the same you know so i'm just gonna leave it up to science and that but i've actually felt the difference myself is not the best for sure berries and veggies you see what i'm saying so i'm saying i know y'all boochies can the demons wait let me read this before before i let me before i say this out loud because y'all going i'll be repeating some of y'all questions sometimes and y'all be getting me banned on here can the blanks and the white coats to provide that criminal out there that's what i'm going to uh i wouldn't say why are you calling them that don't do that not not all of them bad uh we have some holistic doctors out here that my family goes to you know and, you know but um <laughs> well y'all funny but um i i never tried the home kits we typically just go get it done, but I guess so. I mean, I don't, I, I would just say go to your, your, your general doctor and go get it done, but I don't, I'm not too familiar with the home kits and I'm not one to spread information that's inaccurate. I don't like saying, oh yeah, go try it. And it's, you know, then you get the wrong thing. So I would just say go, oh, go check your, your previous, um, medical documents. Like this, that should be like when you were first born and stuff like that. that's where I got mine from, you know? So go check that out. I love the voice you gave the to the A blood type. That's cause y'all bougie, y'all bougie. You said no coffee. Go try, go try some coffee, especially with the creamer, and let me know how you feel. Tal, what's up, Tal? Hey, y'all go follow Tal. Tal in the building. Body by Tal. She in the building. What about eggs? Eggs. See, look, I'ma just be honest with y'all. Unless it's y'all chickens, unless it's the ones that y'all we talked about this yesterday. Unless it's the ones that y'all letting roam free and y'all taking care of and you know for y'all and y'all stuff, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't, but hey, that's on you. Is there in-home test kits? I, I don't know. I don't know. I answered your question the first time. I don't want to give you a lie. So. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, y'all got, got some good questions today. you got some good questions today. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So the hospital you were born in can provide the blood results. Yeah, why are you typing in all caps? You 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 got me feeling like you're yelling at me. I know you're probably not. But you just got me feeling like you yelling at me. It's in all caps. That part. Can't wait to have my chickens and fill them and feed them healthily scraps. I know, right, Tal? Like, that's just why I'm at with everything. And we was talking about this yesterday on my live. It's like, 
a lot of the things that's that we shouldn't be or that we should not be eating from other people is because it's from other people. Unless you watching those people grow these things and you see how they're raised and you see this, that, and the third. Like, you got to think about our ancestors back in the day. It's like the reason why they didn't have so many restrictions and stipulations is because all of them was basically growing their own stuff. They was taking care of their own yards or they they had this. Everything was in the neighborhood. Everything was in the village. There wasn't all these pesticides and herbicides and all this type of stuff. That All the animals was lean and good living off the good land. But now the soil is different. Now the air is different. Now the chemicals they put in X, Y and Z is different. All of this stuff is different, 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 different. You know, so unless you're doing it yourself, I wouldn't 100 percent feel safe getting it from anybody else if it wasn't from me. But that's just the day and age that we live in. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. You're so right, cause I'm a positive, and coffee and coffee makes me so gassy. I'm, I'll be trying to tell y'all. I'm not gonna tell y'all lies. Is coffee good or bad? It's bad. Go get daily blends. We've been talking about this the whole live. Daily blends, like every day blends, like you're blending something. It's a uh, dandelion root base. Go get that. Eggs feed viruses because the chickens are being fed corn and soy only. Thank you. Thank you. Tal gets it. Tal gets it. Okay. No, I consider the potentially what? Cata what? Cataractes. I don't know what that. Maybe I just can't read today. Cataractes. I don't know what that is. Carrying weight around my stomach is an issue. Any suggestions? Um, what do you mean by issue? Because you have what's called subcutaneous fat, and you have what's called visceral fat. So visceral fat is the fat that's around the arteries, but that's most typically found around the uh, arteries in the abdominal area. But you have subcutaneous fat, which is the fat that's all over the body. You know, so anytime you're struggling with just fat in general, I would say um, if you haven't, because we talked about this yesterday, if you if y'all missed the live, any type of um, any type of uh, macro and caloric maintenance should be should be happening. You should be knowing how much of what you're eating and this, that, and the third. Like you should be, you have to know that. And if you're not doing that, and if you're not tracking that, and if you're not following that, and if you're not aware of that, then you're gonna have problems regular weight, regular regulating your weight. But if you are someone that's doing that, if you are doing that, I would say you need to definitely check on your alpha and beta receptors, check on your any type of hormonal imbalances, any thyroid pituitary gland imbalances, anything like that, because those are the things that's that's in charge of like your metabolic response. A lot of people that actually quote unquote eat right, you know, and they still have trouble losing and weight oftentimes let them or give them uh formulas to reset their thyroid system and i'm saying reset but to excuse me reinforce and revitalize that system to where the metabolism can move i want to and also make sure you're active a sedentary life is not a beneficial life i always tell this to people motion is lotion you have to move you have to move around i don't care well i don't have a car i can't go to the gym i can't blah 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 oh i can't this that and the third you got people you got people with major deformities still still finding ways to just walk around the house, walk around their backyard, squat, sitting down and standing up for 20 minutes, you know, like doing a push up off the wall. You know, if you have trouble walking, like doing something like you, this, you just have to move. Even if you just could stretch, do that for the time being and a whole bunch of fruit juice and watch the difference. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No, I consider the. Oh wait, can we? I answered that already. Is juicing your own juice good for you? Drink every morning lemon, chia seeds, honey. Most definitely, I have grapefruit juice every single morning because I'm AB positive and I need it for my stomach. And it and especially like what I do is I wake up, take you know I get myself together, I drink my grapefruit juice and I go work out. First thing I do in the morning is go work out. I feel like I gotta earn my food. I feel like that I have to earn my calories because I just don't like waking up and just eating. Drink you some water, drink you some fruit juice, go about your day, and then wait until you're hungry because you think you're hungry in the morning, but did you even have a bowel movement before you eat breakfast? You know what I'm saying? It's like people be so quick to just wake up and stuff their faces. It's like, did you did you relieve yourself all the way? Are you hydrated? You know, did you put something on your, not say something on your stomach, but something inside of your system? Liquid. You know, before you just try to, oh, I want bacon, I want grits, I want blah, 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 blah. And, we've, and I'm from the South. I get it. It tastes good. It's normal. That's what we normally do. But it don't mean it's the best. That don't mean that's what you should be doing. But yeah, but two boat twelve, you yeah, you on the right track. Carrie swears by eat right for your blood type. You are talking her language. It's the truth though. It's like I could see if it was a bunch of BS, but it's the truth. It works. We've tried it and it works time and time again. I'm going to try the daily blends. Please do and, let, and come back and let me know how it, how it go. Mafia six one five say hello. Hola. People with cataracts who may have vision issues is why I type in all caps. Oh, I did not know that was a thing. You know what? You're doing the Lord's work. You're doing the Lord's work. I'm here for it. 
I'm not tracking any of that, taking those fat in general, just the stomach is giving Peter Cr- I swear to God, y'all crazy, boy. Y'all crazy. You should start tracking your food. Start tracking your food and you'll you'll see a difference. You are hilarious. Doing better with moving since my job has shifts to more. Wait, what? Doing better with moving since my job has shift to more sitting. Okay, yeah, that's essential. What juices are good for old uh, positive blood? Y'all, y'all good for mostly everything except for apple juice. Y'all be good. Yeah, in a little bit. I'm almost done. Um, yeah, we got about like eight more minutes on the live, y'all. Then I gotta go get my dog's day medicine. But um, yeah, when it comes down to old types, y'all, like I said, y'all, y'all are. It's just not fair. <laughs> it's just not fair, bro. Y'all could, y'all could basically eat, drink anything other than oh, I can't have this one little thing of apple juice. And y'all, y'all still be good. Y'all still be rolling. Y'all still be rocking. Y'all ain't got too much of no problems or nothing. All y'all gotta do is stay active, take a few supplements here and there if need be. Make sure y'all outside, and then go eat a license plate, and y'all, be, <laughs> and y'all be good. Once again, I'll say it again. My dad, dude, my my dad has the stomach of of a gladiator. Like I don't. That's the one thing I was not blessed with. But you know what? I will say, if I did get that, if I had his stomach, and I had it now, I probably wouldn't be talking to y'all right now. But if I'm being really, really, really specific, I say like black cherry juice, pineapple juice, and prune juice. That'll probably be the most beneficial juice for you if you're an old type but it's not too much that y'all should avoid it's really not too too much old types be doing what they think thank you no problem she put i'm old ha 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 so true yeah tell see you know what i'm talking about y'all could eat any doggone thing if i even get a whiff of the wrong cheese or something like that <laughs> my stomach be sitting there i'm like i ain't got time i ain't got time i really don't Eat a license plate. Yes, y'all got the y'all got the stomach the hydrochloric stomach acid levels of a doggone acid battery of a volcano. Y'all could probably eat a volcano and still be fine. I'm so envious of y'all stomach, bro. When I tell you, I, I the wrong little thing, coffee. I can imagine if I was to drink some doggone coffee, I'd be curled up in a little ball. It'll be horrible. But we got six minutes, y'all. So I'm gonna do one more questions and then I'm uh, one more question because you can't do one more questions that don't make sense. Well, I'll do one more question. And I'm up out of here. Eli is A and it's so sad. I'm like, poor baby. See, see what I'm talking about? Eli feels my pain. Eli feels my doggone pain. Cause like it Jesus Christ. Y'all, y'all just y'all just something else. Mm-mm. What is she talking about? Give me a second, y'all. Da-na-na-na. But yeah, I'm gonna answer one more question, y'all. And then we're going to be up out of here. I got to go give my dogs their medicine. We found a, a little worm in Lonnie's poo the other day. Well, I shouldn't have said poo. In her fecal matter the other day. So I'm just making sure that my babies are good. Because one, they are some very expensive dogs. And two, um, yeah, you just got to make sure you take care of your kids. You got to make sure you take care of your kids. But um, Let's see. The last question was, what is good for fighting the RSV virus? I'm a senior. So I would say definitely a lot of mullein, M-U-L-L-E-I-N, a lot of mullein. That's going to be really good and beneficial for your bronchial tubes. A lot of elderberry that's going to be really good for your lymphatic system. Um, you can take some eyebright and you can take some um, either butcher's broom or Kanye. That's going to really help with your circulation. But you need a fast. You need to make sure you fast and get that, get that thing up out of it. The thing about viruses is like they take a long time to come out sometimes because they're so deeply embedded inside of our our systems. I ain't going to be too specific because I don't want nobody to freak out. But like inside of our system. So take the time to really like flush your system out, do what you got to do, and you'll be, you'll be pretty good. I'm not going to say it's easy to get rid of because I don't want to sit here and downplay anybody's anything because it took me a while to deal with my ocular deficiencies and stuff like that. You know, but at the same time, if you do enough discipline, if you do right by yourself and you do enough hydration on the cellular, like everything, basically everything that we talked about today, take that into consideration, you know, and you'll be, you'll be really, really good. But, um, that was the last question, y'all. I got four more minutes and I'd rather be early than be late. And I, if y'all want to, I might come back on later. Let's see what time it is. It's two fifty-six on my, on my uh, clock. If I could come back around like in the next three hours, I will because this is fun and I like what y'all got going on. But if not, I just can't. And I but I will be posting. I will. I go back and take um 
the snippets from this live and I repost them. And plus, I got to promote uh, some more detox stuff that I'm going to be doing. Also, I'm about to do some hair oils real soon. But other than that, y'all, link in my bio. Y'all can sign up for one-on-one coaching. We have a special going on right now. It's $300 a month as opposed to $500 a month. Um, go get my 10 day detox. Y'all can go get any of my protocols on my site right now before they all go. Cause I'm about to revamp and all that stuff is about to go new and improve. Um, thank y'all for y'all time. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for everybody that's supporting. Thank you for everybody that's up in here. Everybody that always continues to show, uh, show their face and come through. And once again, don't be afraid to ask the questions. Whatever I didn't answer on here, slide in my DMS. I always answer my DMS. So like y'all just take the time to ask the questions because I'm trying to give y'all as many answers as possible, but I love y'all. Y'all have a good one. I hope y'all have a great day. I'm out.